Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. Today we are going to talk about the classic beauty Elizabeth Taylor. When did you notice her for the first time, and how old were you? Let me know in the comment section. Let me tell you a few interesting trivial facts about her, while you enjoy these gorgeous photos. Liz was a close friend of Montgomery Clift until his death in 1966. They met for the first time when Paramount decided that she had to accompany him to the premiere of The Heirs, because they were both to star in the upcoming A Place in the Sun. They liked each other right away. Cliff used to call her Bessie May. When he had a car accident a few years later that disfigured him, he had just left a party at Liz's house. It was she who found him first, got into the wreck, and removed some teeth from his throat that threatened to choke him. At one point during her life-threatening illness, while filming Butterfield 8, she was actually pronounced dead was a heavy smoker from ages 18 to 58, usually two packs a day. She finally quitted her physician's recommendation following a severe bout with pneumonia in 1990. Taylor underwent more than 40 operations during her lifetime, and was hospitalized at least 100 times. She reportedly told doctors in 2010 that she didn't want any more life-saving surgeries despite being in daily pain. Elizabeth Taylor once said, a woman will try and dominate a man. She will try and get away with it. But really, inside herself, she wants to be dominated, she wants the man to take her. And she wants to lean on him, not have him lean on her. If he does lean on her, everything goes slightly off-key, like a bad chord. She hopes it will pass, that the guy will come through. When it doesn't, she begins to needle him. If nothing happens, she goes on needling, until he stops listening. At that moment, she becomes bitter, and he goes deaf. Finally, there's no more dialogue, they have no rapport. 